Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a calculated column in Excel templates. And what we're going to do is you're probably already familiar with Excel templates within Dynamics 365. And if you're not, an Excel template is really a pre-configured Excel sheet. So the pivot tables are already set up, the pivot charts are already set up, and then all we have to do is push that data into that template. And that will then give you those charts and those pivot tables with the data that you just pushed in from Dynamics 365. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to add a column uh, a data column that does not exist in Dynamics 365. And then I'm gonna use data from other columns with data that does exist in Dynamics 365 to calculate the value in that new uh, column, that new calculated column. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So let me tell you what exactly I was talking about. So you can see I have a view here showing all of my open opportunities and I have my opportunity ID, my topic, my account field, my estimated revenue probability and rating field as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually first um, going to push this data into my pre-configured Excel template that I was talking about, which has those calculated fields in there. So this is it. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to download my Excel template. And you probably see that the fields that you will see here in my Excel template, let me actually bring those over. One of them is called, uh, custom rating and the other one is called where is it custom weighted amount those are actually those calculated fields and you can see that uh, on here in here as well it's looking at the estimated revenue column and this guy is looking at the probability field that you see in here so i'm just going to go ahead and show you how i did this how i created those custom calculated fields here in my Excel spreadsheet, because again, these fields do not exist in Dynamics 365. So the first thing you can do here is just download a template. So I can click here on download template, then I can select a view, and then I can even edit some of these columns as well. So if there's certain columns that I need to add or certain columns that are not there or that are there that I don't really care about, I can do that. So let's say we don't care about contacts. Let's keep this very simple. We don't care about the close dates. Uh, we just want estimated revenue. We don't care about the lead source. Um, we do want the probability. We don't care about the pipeline phase. Um, we have rating here. We don't care about the source campaign and we have the topic and then we have i need estimated revenue as well let's make sure that we have that yes we do so i can now download this excel template so let me just go ahead and open that up okay so here we have the the spreadsheet that i just downloaded and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to insert a column here uh, next to topic and as you can see I can actually pick to format this the same as the left the right side or I can clear my formatting and that's what I'm going to do here real quick and I'm going to call this custom rating and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to enter some logic in there so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to say I'm going to do a formula and I'm going to say if the probability is larger, oh sorry, I actually need to do smaller than 31, I want to show the word ice. 
So let's do that. So you can see here that that's very simple, right? It shows false for everything else, but it is showing me ice right now. So this is kind of very simple, right? I haven't finished this yet, but I just wanted to run it to kind of show you um, if that actually made sense or not. Now, the other thing you want to make sure if that, if it's blank, so I'm going to say is blank, right? That probability field that, so I'm going to get rid of this. If that is blank, then I want to show nothing. So that's what you're saying over here. If the probability field is blank, then show nothing. So you can see here that this one is blank and that's why it's showing nothing. Now, again, I'm not done yet. The other thing that I want to do here is I want to add some stuff here. I'm going to say if, and again, that probability field, if that probability field is actually smaller than 31, I'm going to do a comma and I'm going to say again, I want to show the word ice. And then I want to see if the probability field is between 32 and 60, or I should say 31 and 60, right? Because here we said anything uh, smaller than 31, then I want to show ice. So anything over 31, but lower than 61, I want to show something else. I want to show cozy. So I'm going to say again, I'm going to do a column. I'm going to say if, and I'm going to do an and statement because both of those statements need to be true. So again, I'm going to say my probability field is going to be larger than 30, right? This was smaller than 31, which is 30. So I'm going to say larger than 30. And then I'm going to do a comma, but also and the probability field is going to be smaller than 61, right? If that happens, I want to show the word cozy. And then I have another statement, and this is again an if and statement. Oops. So again, if and. I'm going to say if the probability field is actually larger than I should say 60, right? If it's over 60 and comma, again, the probability field, if that is smaller than 101, then I want to show the word fire. And if that's not true, that statement, then I don't want to show anything, a blank cell. So I'm going to close this one, two, three, four parentheses here. And of course this is not working correctly. So let me take a look at this. Okay. So it looks like I forgot a closing bracket over there and also a closing bracket over here. So let's see if that works and it does. And you can see now that it actually changes that wording based on the probability, right? If we set this to 100, it now says fire. Now, the other thing that I did here, you saw that I had different colors here, right? Depending on what that rating was. So you could actually uh, put, I forgot where I put that, but you can actually grab this column and then you can do some conditional formatting here as well. So for example, you can do some highlight cells rules here. So if it's equal to cozy, show blue. If it's equal to ice, uh, show a different color, right? All of that is, uh, is doable within here, um, obviously as well. So that's kind of what I did. And then I did the same thing with my weighted revenue. This is my custom weighted revenue field. So if I'm just going to go ahead and insert, let's just go ahead and insert here another column. And again, right, it says, do you want to format it same as left? Do you want to clear the formatting? I can clear that formatting from here. And then what I can do in here is I can put a very similar thing in here, but now I'm calculating, oops, I'm calculating uh, some revenue amounts, some custom weighted revenue amounts in here. 
So let me just go ahead and just paste that in here. This is, as you can see, that formula. Again, we want to account for if the actual form is blank. So if I'm removing this, I'm just not, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. If I'm removing my estimated revenue field, it's just going to show a blank value in there. In this particular case, it's showing zero, right? So we don't have any values in there. But if I put that value back, you can see that it automatically calculates that. And just wanted to show the formula with you, right? Again, the estimated revenue, if that is uh, blank, then set the probability to zero and otherwise set the this particular field here, this, um, let me just give it a name here, this weighted revenue, set that to the following calculation, the estimated revenue divided by the probability. So now I'm just looking at both of these fields to calculate my weighted revenue. Right, and then what I can do here is I can just go ahead and delete those. I can now save this. So let's just uh, save this here. I'm just going to go ahead and say save. And then what I can do here is I can just minimize this. And now I can upload my Excel template, right? Because I'm just creating one for myself here. I can choose a file. I think it was this one, hopefully. Just make sure that that's what it was. I can upload that. There's my personal template, which is now here on the bottom. I hope this was the correct one. I can download that. And here it is, right? So here we can see our way to revenue that's automatically populated based on my formula and my custom rating as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching and until next time.